Amen. Now, when Jesus is in the house, we need to make some noise. Amen. We need to let folks know Amen. that Jesus Amen. is in the house. Amen. Well, you know whose house is he in today? They ought to be in your house. Amen. Now, the song says he's in my heart. This melody of right divine. Amen. Amen. Faithful, 
Amen, y'all. Come on, give God some hands. Praise. God is good. Worthy to be praised. And I'm going to uh, leave for supper out this morning because I tell you, I'm 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 anxious today to hear the word. And the reason why is because, you know, like Satan did Jesus after he fasted, after he was out there for the day. Uh, that's when he attacked him. And it seemed like today, for some reason, he's on, on the warpath. He's on the, uh, when, the when you're in the army and you're, and you're not where you're supposed to be, they call it absent uh, without leave. And we got a lot of folk that's supposed to be in church this morning that's absent without leave. But that don't mean we can't have worship. Uh, because the God I serve, uh, you know, the God that said that only if it's true, we can still worship him. We can still give him praise. Glad to see the apostle come in and his wife. Uh, we got a, what's your name, you said? Minister Rich Lewis. Brother Minister Rich Lewis. Minister uh, Evangelist Sunshine and uh, Evangelist Outlaw. Can't get the sunshine outlaw. Uh, he got the whole package. Yeah. Hey, Amen. So we got enough folks here to have worship. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you today, but when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, I don't know if he's done nothing for you. Maybe you ain't got no reason to praise him. Maybe you ain't got no reason to come up and down and run. Maybe you ain't got no reason to raise your hands and praise God. But I got a reason. Uh, because he's been better. Uh, to me than I've been to myself. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I got a reason to pray and he woke me up this morning. Yeah. Somewhere between midnight and dawn, touch me yeah. with the divine fear took the blood. I flew wide open and here we are. Yeah. I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who rules today. Yeah. Uh, let's give God praise. Praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Amen. 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 to uh, welcome we don't need to welcome nobody in the house because we all know that we're welcome Amen. but I just want to welcome you today praise God, praise God. Amen. Don't, don't, don't come here and, and act like you're in some strange place don't act like them folk that were down by the river that were asked to praise God and so they hung their hearts on the willow when they were required to sing a song. They said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? And so we're not in a strange land today. Amen. We're all brothers and sisters. Amen. I want to, uh, I'm not going to go through our, all the announcements today. It's all right. I don't know what the announcements are. But, uh, I want to ask how many birthdays we got in the house. Did anybody got a birthday today? No birthdays today? Amen. All right. No birthdays. Oh, next Sunday. All right. No Christopher and big Christopher. All got birthdays next Sunday. All right. All right. Very quickly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Amen. 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 And so I'm not, I'm going, not going to uh, deal with the additional concerns today because uh, I want everybody to stone, everybody to get mad with me. Yeah. So, Amen. Uh, deal with a distant concern when when we don't have visitors. Because I don't want them to say, oh, you pass a cuss. <laughs> 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 so, uh, uh, we didn't know that. We were surprised again. Amen. 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 But uh, we want to uh, just move on uh, with our worship today. Uh, <laughs> so 
this is how we're going to do. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, receive our tithe, our tithe and our offering. And we know what the pans are for, basket, gold pans, love offering, and silver pan is our benevolence so that Sometimes people come by, you know, always sometimes I'll be sitting off sometimes, God knock on the door. You know, they don't go to church, uh, but they knock on the door and, and need something. And, uh, I've had guys, people coming here with a gas can in his hand. And when he got the car running, they still didn't come back. Yeah, yeah. But we try to reach out and do the best we can and help where we can. Right. Amen. Amen. And so we know that the, the scripture says that they bought their gifts. And they laid it at the feet of the apostle and they uh, distributed such as need. Amen. And so we're going to get our tithe and our offering. The basket is for our tithe and our offering. The uh, gold plate is the little offering. Silver pan for the numbers. I got some of the somewhere. Oh, the apostle had my money. Well, what we do now, we don't, we don't have any organized thing. We just come. Amen. One thing I suggest, don't run over nobody. <laughs> Stampede. Come. Be No matter how you try.
going to today, we do know that today is a real, well, it's a special day. Now, everybody know what the day is? Yeah. Yeah. On Sunday. Yeah. Amen. And so, uh, I've asked the apostle to, to give us the essence of Palm Sunday. Amen. Before we move on, Pastor Apostle will come and uh, give us the essence of Palm Sunday. We're going to move on. Thank you, Bishop. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I like to hear noise. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Behind this, Amen. this pulpit with a microphone. Amen. Amen. We are glad to be here on this Palm Sunday. Amen. It is the day, it is the week before the, 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 the resurrection and the death of Jesus Christ. And we know that uh, our Lord and Savior rode on a donkey. Very humble. And they laid out palms as he walked across. So normally, you know, in some churches, we, we collect palms, and, and we um, and even in the Catholic Church, they, they, put, uh, they put holy oil on them, and bless them. But see, the most important thing, the essence, is that we got to remember is that Christ came humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we don't put our emphasis on, Amen. and still go over and question, okay, Lord, what, 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 we know what the scholars say. And we know what the what what the, 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 the preachers say, but I want to hear from the Holy Ghost. I want to yeah, hear what man. the Holy Ghost is saying about yeah. this donkey and why he came so humble. He he emphasized. He, he the last command he left was to love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I wonder how many of us do that today. Amen. But do we forget? Because I, you know, I'm like the bishop now. I I might not curse you out, right. but if you if you get on my nerves, you know, you might cut across me stupidly when I'm driving, and I'll tell my wife, look at that dummy. I said, you dummy? And I said, oops, I forget, like Joe Osteen, oh, I'm a pastor, I can't do that, I'm a man of God. Lord, have mercy. I said, put my palms, let me remind myself who, 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 what my calling is. Amen. Yes, amen. I remember I went to uh, a family reunion some years back in Georgia, and we went to a, a Methodist church, and, and see, and that's another thing. I, I'm not into denominations. That's just the way you choose to worship the Lord. I'm not into that. And, and so he says, "Do I will I curse?" The pastor said that. He said, "I'll go fishing. Then I'll look around. Then he'll look up under the rock, behind the tree. And then he didn't say whether he cursed or not. But the point was that." Yes, I'm human, but I still serve the Lord, and I have a standard. Yeah. The standard today for Palm Sunday is love. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do we have the Holy Ghost feel love? Right. Yeah. I preached a sermon one day, but and Paul was shipwrecked, but he was still anchored. Are we anchored in love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all too quiet for me, so I better leave this alone. Amen, amen, I'm just amen, telling y'all about amen, Palm Sunday. Amen, That's what the bishop told me to do. Yes, sir. God bless you. Amen. Bishop. Amen. 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 If I bet you if I had, I bet you if I had, well, if I had the Los Angeles Lakers or the Golden State Warriors or Tiger Woods, you know, and we was at our son's midget football game, we would be looking at you cross-eyed. That's my son! That's my son! Don't tell me! I know, I used to sit there and watch my son. And I'm hunting. That's my son. See that boy on that ball? That's Jason. But then when we get in church, we get all sedated. Gotta get quiet. Uh -huh. right. no one has, no one I just want to hear the word. And you can hear the word and make some laws too. Yes, sir. I agree. 
Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Amen. 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 You got to love God. You got to love yeah. each other. Yeah. Uh, without love, we don't have anything. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Well, I don't want anything to. I want us to, to get in the frame of mind. So you have to be in the frame of mind to worship. Your heart has to be open and receptive and given to worship. Now you got to be at the end of every day that day and worship him, you must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now I can't understand how we serve the church and we ain't scared our mascara will go wild, we ain't gonna get crooked on my head or whatever. We need to put all that stuff aside and learn how to praise God. Amen. 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 I, and I'm not go. I'm trying not to get excited because that's Brian going to preach today. However, we need to learn how to worship. He didn't say come into church and sit down and fold your arm. He said, when well, you don't enter the court with what? With, with thanksgiving. And to our court with praise. He said, be thankful. How you can't be thankful some girl like this looking like a lump on the law? Now, you know, you, you know, your mom hung out on your hung out hot dog like you've been eating for summers all night. We need to learn how to open up our mouth and give praise to God. God is good today. It's all right. If nobody wants to pray, I just pray them by myself. That's my granddaughter. I say something, look at the light, and nobody wants to say nothing. Say amen, light. Amen. 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 Now, ain't nobody in here older than me. So everybody ought to be able to praise God. Amen. Ain't one more. Ain't one more older than me. But nobody else is older than me. Amen. Huh? Amen. I know I'm going to look like, but I'm 75 years old. Amen. 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 75 because of God's grace Amen. and God's mercy. Amen. See, I want to see that God has given me everything he promised. God don't want me nothing. I'm satisfied. Yeah. He promised me three scores and ten yeah. and four of our reason of hell. Yeah. And three scores and ten is seven a year. And I got five years of gravy going on here because I got them two fellas that follow me around everywhere I go by the name of mercy and grace. Yeah. I want Preacher you know, be trying to hold the show. Um, I'm just trying to get us to open up our eyes. I'm trying to get us to lift up our eyes and to the heels of it and realize that all of our help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just, you know, in the country, I was raised up that uh, we didn't always have one and one, but we had a will. And we had a, what they call that thing? A pump. And in the, back down in Nacogdoches, it's what they call red lane. And when you would, uh, you had to take and prime the pump. You had to put some water in it and just hold your hand over that pump it. And you couldn't drink the first water because the first water came up red and dirty. But when you kept on, keep on pumping, that water got clear and cold as ice, just like it came out of the refrigerator. And so I'm trying to prime the pump. I'm trying to get us, uh, get the pump to get us uh, uh, to, to praise God today. You know, that's the real thing really, to get up in and preach and, and people just sitting there looking at you. Wondering what you're going to do instead of helping you get where you're trying to go. Amen? Amen. 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 Apostle, you know, Apostle. I told Apostle I needed the bishop's team. And amen, and he went and got it. I said, I guess I'll get a bigger one. I need a, I need a bigger one. I need a bigger chain. Amen. But thank God for, for the bishop. Amen for the Apostle. You know, let me tell you all something. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet, 
receive it and profit the Lord. Amen. Amen. When you go to the bishop, when you go to the bishop, keep your eyes on the front because something coming your way. Amen. Uh, Amen. But God will bless you. Amen. He said we ought, to, we ought not be borrowers, but we ought to be what? Lenders. Amen. Amen. So uh, we thank God for uh, possible. Amen. Thank God for all these churches and languages here today. And y'all excuse my French. I don't, I don't cuss like they say we live in life. Yeah, I'm a man of God. Peter was a man of God. Amen. Huh? When that woman said, I know you. Yeah. Uh, Peter, the Bible said, I said the Bible said, Peter, the Bible said, curse. Billy. I don't know what he said, but he showed a curse. But I know when Jesus sent to get the disciple, he said, tell Peter to come also. He said, tell Peter, I ain't there with you. I know you messed up. I know you had a slip of the tongue. You didn't mean what you said. But I ain't there with you. You still. Huh? So, uh, uh, that's my excuse. Amen. 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 Sometimes you have to, you have to, listen, being a pastor ain't no reason to do it. No. No. Anybody sitting there thinking that being a pastor is a reason, you know, you know, I think about a mission calling. Amen. Pastoring is, I wouldn't wish it on nobody. No. Amen. 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 Uh, people do what they want to do with passing me, walking the floor, looking out the window, calling the folk, and where you at, why you ain't here, and all that kind of stuff. Amen. All right, we're going to Amen. move on. The pump ought to be prime, and we're going to we're going to go to the word. Amen. 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 We're going to go to the word, and then uh, Pastor Brian Bryant going to come, and he's going to uh, preach. Amen. Amen. Now what did I say? Did I say he would do a lecture? I said he would do what? Come on, somebody. I said he would do a preach. You know, Pastor Brian, he's conservative. And he's well-mannered. I watched him. I've taken some stuff from him. You know, but I, 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 I learned how to be in control right here. But I want him, you know, uh, when, when, when you uh, turn loose yeah. and allow the Holy Spirit to take control, then you got it. Amen. And so, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. for this. I got a feeling. Uh -huh. There's a word in this house. Amen. 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 There's a word in this house. There's still a bomb in Gideon. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Seal the ball. I don't care how you folks say it. Seal the ball. God is sealed alive. Yeah. Yeah. You see it on the throne. Amen. So we're going to let's sing this little song together and then the next voice we hear will be Pastor Brian. Amen. Amen. I, I watch, I'm watching the, the social media and Facebook and I see that Pastor Brian had him a, uh, what they call it, a commercial. Sorry, right away. Mark it down on your calendar. We'll right. be in South Rock, Tim Ube Street. Amen. So I know he invited. You know, Jesus sent out to the cinema to when, when, when the guests that was full show up, didn't he send them out to get some more? Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. 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 So we're going to, I just, I'm just excited today. I'm excited today. Amen. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell my heart. He will hear us. And he will answer by and by. Will we hear him? Y'all know that? Thank you. 
It's just to stick with me a little bit. Say, stick with me. Stick with me. Okay, because I want y'all to ride with me on this because what I'm going to give you, you ain't going to see but only a few little spits on, excuse me, a few little lines in this book. Everything else, God gave me. Amen? Amen. Amen. But first and foremost, I, I want to give honor to Bishop. Amen. Thank Amen. you for allowing Amen. us to be here. Glory Amen. to God. I want to thank you for the, for the first day. Glory to God. Amen. 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 The apostle Amen. And, and his first lady. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. In the absence of my, my wife, glory to God, she gives respect and honor to each one of you. Amen. And, um, Amen. Amen. We like to um, we like to make sure that we, we do things proper in this right way. Amen. Now, I know this church has liberty. And I know that the man of God has pulled me and said, I want you to bring forth a word. So I got excited this morning because I wanted to bring forth this word. Amen. 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 But, and and it's, it is becoming, it's becoming something that, that God has been putting into my spirit. So I want y'all to just hang with me just for one little bit. Or amen. 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 I'm going to take you through a, a, a variety of scriptures. Glory to God. And we're going to start off with Luke, the 23rd chapter. All right. We're going to start off with, amen. 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 Thank amen. you. Amen. We're going to start off with Luke, the 23rd chapter. And we're going to be reading from Luke, the 23rd chapter, verses 39 through 43. I'm going to also be taking you to Hosea 13 and 14. I'm going to take you to Isaiah 22 and 22, Revelations 3 and 7, Revelations 1 and 18. I'm going to bring it back down to y'all slowly. But then I'm going to bring you, and we're going to end up in Matthew on the 27th chapter. But I'm going to start right now. We're going to Matthew. We're going to Luke, the 23rd chapter, verse 39 through 43. Amen. Say amen if you got it. Amen. Amen. Stay with me right here. Amen. Stay with me. I want y'all to remember this thing. I'm going to read this for, for your knowledge. I don't want you to just understand it. And one of the malefactors, which were hanged, rallied on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answered, rebuked him, saying, Does thou not fear God? Seeing thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed be justified, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, today shall thou be with me in paradise. If you would quickly turn your Bibles, if you can, to Hosea, the 13th chapter, glory to God, and the 14th verse. Hallelujah. If you're there, you can. If you, if you, if you haven't got there and you want to just listen to the word, just say amen. It's okay. If you have to say amen. Amen. Hosea, the 13th chapter, 14th verse. Glory to God. Amen. You know. Amen. 14th verse reads us this. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be their plague. O grave, I will be their destruction. Repentance shall be hid from my eyes. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm taking y'all some places. So just ride with me. Isaiah, the 22nd chapter, the 22nd verse. Amen. Amen. And here we go. If you're there, if not, it's all right. Isaiah, the 22nd and 27th. Amen. Okay. Amen. And the keys of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none 
shall open. Amen. Amen. Revelations, I'm bringing you to. Revelations, the third chapter, and the seventh verse. Because I'm trying to get, I'm going to bring you someplace. I want you to remember these scriptures that I, I give to you. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things. Says he that is hope, he that is true, he that has the key of David, that he opens and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man opens. Amen. Amen. I want you to go quickly, if you can, to Revelations. Once again, the first chapter and the 18th verse. Amen. And it, and it reads us thus, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Now, if you would, take the opportunity. I'm, I, I promise you I'm taking you someplace. I promise you I'm taking you someplace. If you would turn to Matthew, the 27th chapter, and the 50th verse to the 54th verse, we're going to stay in this particular area. And... Matthew 27, verse 50. And when you have this, say amen, because this is where I want you to stay. This is where we're going to stay at. Amen. Amen. Amen? amen. Okay. Jesus, when he had cried with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And because and behold, the veil of the tent was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks what rent, and the graves were opened, and the bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection, right, and right. went into the holy city and appeared unto men. Yeah. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watched Jesus saw the earthquake and all those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. All right, all right, man. Man. Now, amen. I want to tell y'all a story. Do y'all mind me telling y'all a little bit of story? Okay. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bishop. I'm a little bit of a walker. You know, and, and sometimes in, in this story because you can't, you know, this story right here was given to me. Amen. As I sat down one day and the Lord gave this to me. So I'm going to give this to you. Amen. When Jesus died on the cross, the people that were hung with him, one of them said, remember me in heaven. He said, remember me. And he said, this day you will be with me in heaven. And This is how this story is going to go. There was a big noise in hell. And it was a joyous sound. Because Satan said, uh-huh, I got it. I got it. Now, death and hell said, who do you got? He said, I got Jesus. I finally got it. He said, I've been trying to find a way to get him, but I finally got it. All right. I finally got him to where I want him to be. I finally got it. Now, I want you to pause right there. I just want to bring you somewhere. I want you to just put this in your mind. As a man, just think about this one man going up and he's sitting in heaven and he has a cross on the side of him. And he's saying, he's sitting there and he's walking and he's walking with Jesus. And Jesus said to him, just like he said to the apostle, take a seat and sit right here. I'll be back. So now we fast forward back to where Satan is, and Satan said, I got him. So death and hell says, you got who? He says, Jesus. And they said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus? The same Jesus that rose that girl that we had down here up? 
He said, yeah. He said, hold on. That same Jesus who when we held one of his friends, he caused his friend to go and disappear from us? He said, yeah. Right. That same Jesus? He said, that same Jesus that when we had all the rest of our friends taking over somebody's body that he caused them to go into some pigs and they drowned and they came back in? That Jesus? Yeah, yeah. And he said, yeah. And death and hell looked at Satan. And they looked at him and they said to the other demons there, lock the gate. Huh. All right, oh all right. Uh -huh. He said, because we in some trouble. Uh -huh. Very good. Well, in the midst of all that, Jesus dies on the cross. He brings the man to heaven because he told him, this day I'm going to be in heaven with me. He said, but before that, he said, I'll be back. So therefore, as he's coming back, he says, I have some place I have to go. So Jesus goes to hell. Jesus goes to hell and in the midst of hell, he goes there and the demons go and they lock the gate. And then all of a sudden, here comes Jesus. They can barely see him because his glory is just too much. They're moving away from him because it's too bright over there. But as he's standing there, and he's knocking at the door, and he says, open up. Yeah. And they said, we can't open up. We locked the gate. And besides, we don't have the keys. Yeah, yeah. All right. And Jesus said, that's okay. Because uh -huh. he pulled up out of his sleeve and said, I have the keys. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So he opens up the door. Yeah. And they run to the side. They run. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't want to be around this anointing. And as they're running to the side, there's Jesus walking through. Death and hell, Satan had moved themselves all the way to the back. They're trying to be so protected by any particular thing. But as Jesus goes there, now I want you to get this into understanding that when we were when we died, if we did not get picked up by the whirlwind, <laughs> if we did not get pulled up by a certain angel, if we did not take the opportunity um, for God to come and get you, you 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 were stuck in one place. That's right. Amen? Uh -huh. you, you did, you were, there was no way for you to get to heaven in, in, unless God was taking you there. Yeah. That was a personal trip that he had to take. Oh, so right. Jesus said, I have to take a personal trip down to hell. Yeah. So as he goes in the midst of hell, yeah, God, yes, stay sir. with me, y'all. Yeah. Right. He says, I'm, I'm going in here because I got to do about my father's business. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now he's in the midst of going through there. So he looks, and as he's walking, I said, having it has to be strange. I've got to walk a little bit. He said, all right with y'all. He says, I've I got to be a little bit strange that David, <laughs> the one whose lineage and he was from, All right. had to take the opportunity to look at him. See, because in the Bible it does say that my, I will be there because my enemies are going to be on my footstool. So but David said in, 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 a, in a way that he has seen, he has seen God ahead of time. See, because in the Bible, it does say that when, when, when David's there, he said that he's seen his Lord. He's seen his Lord ahead of time. So therefore, how have it had to be for David to look up and see Christ? Well, yeah. well, my Lord. And how he yes, had sir. to somehow kind of dance, yes. saying, I'm about to be free. Yes, sir. Yes. Imagine yes. walking at Christ is walking, and he's going into it in different places. And as he starts to walk over here, he looks over and sees him. He looks over and sees Naomi. He's walking over and he's starting to see 
all different people and they're starting to get very unhappy because they've been waiting for Christ to come and therefore they're able to see him because now he's coming down to the place where they're at but all of a sudden there's a little bit of something different because he's not just there being miserable, he's there letting you know you're about to be free. Yeah, yeah. So in the midst of all these particular things that he's doing, glory to God, he's walking, he's walking how it had to be that he walked over there and looked in the face of Noah. Oh my God. Amen. How it had to be for Noah to look back at him. Amen. Now, he couldn't have looked at Enoch because Enoch was already up. Yes, right. Oh, how it had to be. Right? As he was walking and as he was starting to move that he was able to look at Enoch. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying to Abraham, my brother, see, I remember he, he said, I know who you are. He said, you remember I was with you then. He said, but I'm coming to get you. Yes. He said, um, remember how it had to be that as he was starting to walk and he was getting to places that he even seen me and my. He said, well, me and my, I need you too. And just think, I want you to put this in your mind. How it had to be for him to walk over there and him to see Seth. The man that he had said was the fourth, huh, or the fourth individual of brotherhood, that they say that he was the what the uh, third brother in and how he had to slowly look at him and Tell them that today you're going to be free. All right. All right. See, because we all have to remember that they didn't call upon the name of the Lord mm-hmm. until after Seth was born. All right. All right. See, because when Seth was born, and after Seth came through, all of a sudden the men started calling on the name of the Lord. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. But how did it have to be? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Help me now. Help me now. Somebody help me now. How it had to be, Bishop, for the first Adam to look at the second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, How did it have to be that when he was over there, he seen this creature in the corner that looked a little different than the other ones looked. And he looked at him, and they knew each other because he said, brother. Yes, sir. Brother. He said, I came to undo what you did. Yeah. Yes, sir. I came to clean up yes, sir. what you spit. Yeah. I came to let you know that daddy said it's time to come home. Yeah, yes, sir. So imagine that they looked at each other and he grabbed him by his hands. And he started to walk. And as he walked him up, Right? He's walking them up. He walks them out of hell. He walks them out of hell, and then he walks them into heaven. But he stops right before the heaven's gates and says, hold on. Hold on. Yes, sir. I can't have you come in here just yet. I'll be back. Uh-huh. Now, see, some scholars will tell you that Jesus came and he rose and he did the things that he did. But according to Matthew, when he rose, some others did too. So what happened was when he was in heaven, he said, y'all hold on. Y'all right here, come with me. And he brought him down to do some things. Now, I'm going to tell you a little something because I want you to get this understanding. I'm going to go back into them. I'm going to read this text to you again, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you a little something. When he resurrected, who was the first person to see him? Mary was, right? Yes, sir. 
Now, when Mary came to see him, or when she went to go see him, she looked upon on the things, and when she looked upon him, she said, where is my master? Because she thought he was what? The gardener. Yeah. Now, let's bring back to the fact that the gardener was what was supposed to be Adam. So what he was doing was she had seen the Adam in Jesus, yes, but she did yes, not sir. see it until he started to transform in All front right. of her. And when he called out the name, by the time she turned around, he called out the name, he had transferred back into who he was. Yeah. Because what she yeah. had first seen was the first Adam, yes, and then what she seen on the second was the second one. Yeah. So, oh, I was cursed by the first one because yeah. the first one did me wrong, but the second one by the blood got yeah. me the opportunity yeah. to do the that I need it. So God let you know right now that God said this. He said that if, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, come on, boy. He said, if, <laughs> he said, if you will believe in me. He said, if you will believe in me, you will have everlasting life. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now, I want you to keep these thoughts in mind because I'm going to bring you back to the same scriptures because Yes, there's somebody here that said, this is just a story. Yeah. Come on, yes, somebody sir. said right now, this is just a, a, a fairy tale. Yeah. This is something made up in your mind. No, God downloaded this in me. Uh -huh. If you want to know where it is, it holds in between uh -huh. the part of 51 and 52 uh -huh. of Matthew. Uh -huh. There's a spot missing in here. And if you don't know that, you need to read this a little bit more. Because yeah. in the beginning it says... And 51, behold the veil, and the tent was rent in twain, from top to bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks did rent. And then it skips and says the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints that were slept the rose. So therefore, there's something in between. God showed me that the things that are in between here are in other verses. So therefore, if you go back and you say to yourself, well, where are they, preacher? They said, well, let me, let's, let's, let me take you back on another journey. So I'm going to bring you back to where we were. Matthew 39 and, and 30, I'll bring you back to where we started. And the malefactors which hang on the rail said, if thou be the Christ, save thyself. But for the other answer, he said and rebuked him, thou shalt the fear of God. See thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed justified, we receive the due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. Yeah, and he yeah. said to the Lord, Remember me, thou comes into thy kingdom. And Jesus said, Verily, yeah. I say unto thee, yeah, Today yeah. shalt thou be with me in paradise. Therefore, the first man that he said to go and sit down there, the one that was carrying the cross, because everybody else, uh, I wanted to mention that to you too, everybody else that he brought up didn't have a cross. Well, yeah. I said, but the man that he sat down had a cross because yeah. that's what he was hung on. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Oh, and yeah. now I'm gonna bring, I'm trying to, I'm gonna bring you all the way back through these same scriptures so that you can get an understanding of where I'm going from. And it says. I will ransom from the power of the grave, and I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plague. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from my eyes. Glory to God. And I want you to let you know that the man of God said this. He said this in 3 and 7. He said, and the angel of the, of the church of Philadelphia write, therefore, he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of the David, he that opens and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man opens. That means he has the right to open yes. and he has the right to close. Yes. Yeah, and there's things yeah. within you that right. you have to close. I could go through the rest of these scriptures, but I want you to have the understanding of where I'm coming from. Yeah. And in the 1 and 18, it says it just like this. He says that I have, he says, I have, I am he that liveth. And have dead was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. And amen. I have the keys of hell and death. Therefore, if he has the keys to hell and death, what does he have in your life? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna say this to you in a certain way. See, because I ain't trying to preach before you long. But I'm, I'm going, I'm going to let this be known that if there's stuff in your life. Mm. Yeah, my God. Hey, 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 
Oh my God. If there's stuff in your life, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. If there's stuff in your life that you've been going through that's pushing you down, that is almost seeming like it's making you feel like you're almost dead. If there's things that you had that you were trying to get to, but you see that there's no way or it feels like you have no way to get there. Because it seems like every time you take a step, it get pushed back four or five more times. When you go out there and it seems like you're getting ready to say, I'm trying to be the best me I can possibly be, and everything and everybody around you is trying to put you in a spot where you won't be the best me or the best person that you're supposed to be, then you best that take the opportunity to understand this lesson. That my God said that he has the keys to heaven, and he said that I got the keys to hell too, and I got the keys to death too. So that means that anything that might have been dead, oh my God. Oh my God. For anything, that anything that might have been dead, or at least you thought was dead in your life, that you said, I might not be able to do this because of the fact of my situation or my circumstances, that Christ said that he had the key to death. Yes. So that means if he lives forevermore, everything that is supposed to be is going to happen. Glory to God, it might not happen in the time that you think it will be, but it will happen in a certain time. If you, if you have a situation that is being dead right now, then again, you know one thing is that God has an opportunity to Bring it up because some things that we consider to be dead is not dead, it's just postponed. Yeah. Glory to God. And that's exactly what I wanted to let you know about. I stopped by here today just to let you know that God didn't say that you had died. Well, God didn't say that you didn't have an area. God didn't say that you weren't doing some things. He said that some things are just postponed. He said, and those things that are postponed is hmm, getting ready to come forward. See, he said, there's some things that have to be changed. He said, some stuff that needs to be moved. He said, and I have the keys to unlock each and every area. Yeah, so yeah. therefore, wherever you are, no matter who you are, he said, I'll unlock the door. Yeah, and when yeah. I unlock the door, it is up to you to walk through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to say, say this. I'm going to say this. I'm trying to take my seat, but I'm going to say this. Glory to God. I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm a walker, so you all have to know this. There's a, reason, there's a reason why I walk. Glory to God. I have to say that. I got I got to I got to let people understand that when I'm walking, and I'm walking in a certain way. See, I remember from way back in the day, and uh, back in the day, my grandmothers and my uncles and my aunts, they used to walk like this first lady. And they used to sit there and they used to be preaching, but they used to be walking around it because they said there was trouble in the pool. Mm -hmm. yeah. They said that each and every individual who would walk up in the front of it and get into it would be able to have an opportunity to get some. Right. And say because the anointing starts to fall, and, they, and they will, I would watch individuals just walk through it. So I started to understand now that God has me walking because we got to trouble the pool. Yes, sir. See, because yes, there's sir. certain things that are going on in our lifetime. There's certain things that are going on with people. There's certain things that are going on with individuals, even in, even in your job. Oh, my God. That you're sitting back and they're saying to you and they're trying to attack you because of who you are, making you try to come out of your character. I said, but the God that we serve says that I got the keys to unlock every door. So every time they shut something. Yes, sir. He said just because they shut something over here doesn't mean I didn't open it over there. Glory to God. Every time I move something over here doesn't mean that it's going to manifest this way. Because we can run down the street and say we're going in a straight line, but God said take a right. Yeah. He said take a left. You're going to have to do it. If heaven is right in front of us right now, and the door is right there. Yes, sir. You can't sometimes run straight to it. Yeah. There's certain people going to get up and say, I can run to the door, and they're going to run right through it. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to run to the door, and God's going to say, take a left, take a right. 
move back three steps, right. and move off to the side. Yeah. Because I got to shift. Because all he's starting to let me know is that I don't want you to fall into those yeah. peaks right. or those valleys right there. Right. That's right there. And I'm trying to give you something to understand you. I don't know why you do Glory to God. See, for some of y'all that don't know, you know, I, I, I try to be proper. Yeah. I try I try to be bishop. I try I try I try to be. But when they let me out of my cage first day, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I the, I, I, I can take the opportunity. I, I but I, I do want to know this, I do want to tell you this. That when when, when God's when God's doing something in your life, it doesn't matter what, what it is that he's doing in your life. If, if if he's if he's told you that I got he's got something for you he's got something for you and I'm I'm, I'm telling you this for a certain reason I I'm not done but I just got to give you the rest of these amen all right because all right. I, I need you to get this understanding right that in Matthew hallelujah back to Matthew it says in 50 Jesus cried with a loud voice and he yielded up the ghost and behold the veil was written to in the twain and the top and the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks did rent. And Jesus went to hell. And he brought back all the people. And the reason why we know that he brought back all the people because of verse 50. And the graves were open. Yeah, yeah. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Yeah. And see, here's what happens. A lot of people read that but don't read the next part. And it came and came out of the graves. Yeah. What? What? I would, come on now. Y'all got that verse. 53. It kept on. I want to hear you. I want to hear it. And came and, out of his graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city yeah. and appeared unto men. Okay, I want you to stop right there. Woo. Now I want you to go back Woo. again. Woo. And it came out of the graves no, no, no. after the resurrection. Yes, so that means that when Christ resurrected, he did not only come by himself, but he yeah. came with some people. Yeah. So if he came with some people, that means he had to go to hell to get the individuals who were sleeping already. And the other ones he brought up there. So there was a man at the gate. And he opened up the gate. And he seen the man that was with the cross. And he was saying, who are you? Mm. He right. says, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a thief. But he said, why are you here? He said, Jesus told me to sit here until he come back. And when Jesus did come back, he walked them off through the gate. And he welcomed them home. Now, if Jesus did that for them. Imagine what he could do for you. Well, Imagine what he could do for your family. Imagine what he could do for your friends. For all those who are thinking about what should I be able to do or what can I do, what should I do, maybe I don't want to do. Mm, I don't know why I went there. I don't know why. I don't know why I went there. I just remember this. Sometimes the things about I don't want to do it, it, it'll affect you. This is the truth, y'all. Say it again. It'll affect you. And the reason why it'll affect you is yeah. just particularly this. I am one of them I don't want to do people. Right. And God said, oh yeah. And God said, oh yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. And look where I'm at now. Yeah. So amen. If he had put, if he had put me here, and I, know, and I know where he brought me from. Yeah. All right. All right. I know where he brought me from. Glory to God. That while I'm here. Glory if, I, if, if, if there's a reason for that, it's a reason for you. I say this because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take my seat in a minute. Oh. Amen. Because I don't want to hold you long. But I want you to know that I speak into every dead situation that is sitting here today. I speak into every individual who is sitting there who is even sick. Mm. And not even been feeling well. The ones whose headaches are going on. I speak into the situation of the lungs and the hearts right now. That all those situations that even the doctor said, I don't know what we can do, that's because they don't have the great physician. And the great physician said, I do all things. Yes, yes, yes. 
Philippians 4 and 13 says, I do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So therefore, I, I, I come in this aspect right now. In the, see, I got I to gotta let y'all know something. I pray like never before. I believe that when we pray, God's going to move something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I don't I don't just take it as a prayer. I believe that it's going to be moved. I believe right now that it be moved. I believe that even the shadows of the saints can bless people. I believe that in all my whole heart. If Bishop is okay, if anybody is desiring prayer, is that all right? Yes, sir. If anybody who is desiring prayer, if you would come to the front right now. You know, God will take the opportunity to, 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 to move on your behalf. But see, it can't be me, because I'm nothing. See, you can, when you come here, you have to have the understanding of two things. Ain't that, ain't that, ain't that right, David? Amen. you got to have the understanding of, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to get mine. Amen. See, because if you go there and you don't believe, then you ain't doing nothing but just standing there. And I'm just speaking over you, but I'm just speaking over you and not in you. Yeah, There's yeah, a difference yeah, between yeah, speaking yeah. over you yeah. and speaking yeah. in you. Right. Because when God wants to speak in you, he's going to do something. Because yeah. there's a seed that is in each and every one of us, yeah. and it's an incorruptible seed. It does not get corrupted. Okay. But in order for it to flourish, you need the Spirit of God. Amen. Yeah. And if you don't get that, you can't grow. That's Come on. Yes, sir. I'm, 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 I'm letting you know some. Some of us have been sitting around and doing things, glory to God. I ain't talking about nobody in this church or in my church. I'm just talking about people. And somebody has been sitting around and this, their, their growth has gotten stunted. Because they've been sitting in the same particular thing, doing the same stuff, when they know they can be doing more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of us have been pulling on the Spirit of God so long that God said, I can't talk to you anymore because you're asking about the same thing, and I told you to go ahead. All right. Some of us are not believing what the Word of God said. And some of us are speaking, but they're not speaking the word of God. There are people who are behind this pulpit who are telling you some things, and you're believing them, and you're praising them, and they're reading from the word, but their lifestyle does not yes, sir. reflect anything. All right. yes, sir. If you see me now, you're going to see me on Monday. Yes, sir. And if you see me on Monday, you're going to see me throughout the week. Yeah. And you're yeah. going to say, that's Brian Bright. Uh -huh. I'm the same person now. I'm going to be the same person then. And I'm going to be the same person then. Because I represent my God. Yeah. And I yeah. know what he can do. See, because I've seen the miracles that take place. Yeah. I've seen it with my own eyes. Uh -huh. I've seen it. I've seen them have the opportunity of me laying my hands on somebody who they thought was dead. Right. Ah, did you hear that? Oh, Amen. And it raised up. Amen. See, I understand what God can do. I know that he's a healer of self. All he's right. a healer of mind. He's a healer of this. Because he took me from the place that I was All into right. the place that I am now. Thank you. Right. So if you are desiring, if you're looking, if you're saying to yourself, this is the time that I want to do something. This is the time when I want to come forth. If this is the time when I know that I'm going to go and get mine. See, because there's a time in your life where you have to put down everything else. And I don't care how way that you look, you can have one sock on your foot, you can have your pants halfway up, holding on to it like this, running down the street, knowing that it's, I got to get to the front of the altar because I got to get mine. Right. And that is where God wants you to be at. Because there ain't nobody else that can help you. Amen. Glory to God. So I'm asking you if you will come. Glory to God. God, if God has touched your life, glory to God. Amen. Bishop, Bishop I, 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 I didn't know 
Amen. And um, I know that this. I didn't know whether you had any or not, so I made sure. I'm sure I knew that you did, but I can tell you a story about this oil right here, but y'all wouldn't believe me if I told you. Amen. This, this oil that I got right here was given to me by the apostle. The one that's sitting right here. All right. All he right. gave this to me over 10 years ago. What you say? I never, ever felt this up. I use it. I put it on my man. And every time I walk away, it's back to where it is. Ah. This, 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 I, you might think I'm telling the story. You could ask my wife. You could ask my child. You could help, you could help tell you real quick. I put this on my mantle. And it goes right back. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. It's my promise that God has given to me. Amen. It's my promise, man. I understand it now, what he said to me. Amen. Amen. That's how Amen. blessed this is. Amen. But glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, I know, I know. seed. I ask that it blossom right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you move in every direction upon her, Father God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And God, in your name, ask child, oh, 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 I ask you that you bless her in Jesus' name. Jesus, we bless you in the name of Jesus that all things work in your will. In the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, I shout, Father, oh, oh, Well, oh, yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. God, I ask you that you move away every sickness that's in her mouth. The ones that she don't tell anybody.
and bless them. The Holy Spirit is here now. Hallelujah. No matter what you feel, it no matter what pain you're going through, even if it's physical or spiritual, mentally, they don't have to go out the door the same way. I got to say this in front of everybody that's in here. You are not walking in the anointing that God wants for you. See, since you're moving in the ministerial area, when God said that there's some apostleship on you, he said that there's things on you. He said that there's movement on you. He said, and it's, oh my God. My God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Everything that you 
you've been looking for. Everything that you've been asking for. God said, I have the keys for you. Yes. I want to open up everything for you. The stuff that you've been looking for, the stuff that he's been blessing you with right now, the things that are going on in your the things that are going on in your life is because they're trying to move you into a different area, a different level, brother. There's a, the, the, area, the area is good, and you enjoy it. But God said, I'm making it a little bit rough on you because I need you to take a better step. He said, I want you to move to that step because that next step, oh, my God, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's about the people that... It's about the people God's going to use through what you have to say to them. I keep hearing the word mouthpiece. He said, I want you to be my mouthpiece. <coughs> he said, you're like Aaron. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. My Lord. Because you, the people who you run across they're not the same ordinary individuals. They're not the people who will turn to the church. But they're going to start turning because of the mouthpiece. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. I'm excited for you. And I told you that I'm telling you now in front of everybody here. I'll ride with you. Amen. Amen. I'll ride with you. Amen. I'll ride with you. You know? Mm. Mm hmm. Lord, not done with you yet. Man, God, I, 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 I hear him. I, I see it. I see it in him. Because it's not done. Amen. Lord, not done with you, bro. Lord, not done with you. You got, you got so much going on, man. You know, you got so much going on. God just wanted, God just said it. If you release all of that, man, it'd be too dangerous. He said, that's why I had to give you a little bit of your time, man. It's, I'm telling you. Man, listen. People of God, I am, I'm trying my best to be done. Hey Amen. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying my best to be done, Bishop. You know, I'm trying my best to be done. I, 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 man, really. Look, look. Really. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got no choice. I got to pray. I ain't got no choice. You know, it's a, I, I got no choice for two reasons, right? First time I ever met you, right? That's your father, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was coming from this church, and you gave me a ride home. And you know what you said to me? You said, make sure you come back. That's what you said. <laughs> so I knew that God was using you at that time for a confirmation. And I was like, oh, man, it's looking at me like, okay, all right. You know, I was like, okay, but I remember it. And it stuck in my system. And it, it's, a, it's a reason for it. You said that, you didn't say that once, but you said it twice. You know, it's only, it's, it's certain people say certain things. I'll call you, right? Mm -hmm. You know that, you ain't going to call you. Right. I, I, oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to run into you. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Oh, you know, yeah, you ain't going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when they say it to you a couple of times, you know they get ready. You know it's in their spirit. Glory to God. I don't know what you do, but I know that you probably do a lot. I know there's a lot of things you. <laughs> wow. I won't even say that. No, I won't even say that. But I will say this. Right? If you will stick to what your mother and your father. And the bishop and first lady is teaching you what you're going to accomplish is more than that. See that even your grades, even your grades, which are probably pretty decent, right? They're pretty good. They so so. They they are pretty. They good, right? Even those are good. You understand what I'm saying? 
business sense. You work and you do the things that you do. You know, you're going to do this. <laughs> I know, but I know, but you do it anyway, right? And you do it out of way. You do it for the love of your father or you. <laughs> but he wants to bless you in a certain way. Because there's something inside you that's a little bit more than what you think. And I used to be in your same position. And people called me certain things and I laughed at them. I remember hanging out and they used to call me preacher. And I laughed at them. You know? I laughed at them. You know? Preacher. <laughs> you know? I, I, I'm telling you, there's things about you, man. You know, everything that you're going through is for a purpose. Right? Whether it be here or whether it be in school. Whatever it be, it's for a purpose. But the moment that you continue to keep the word of God in you, it's not going to cause you to go off. Okay? It's not... It, it's not speak out like that. I'm just speaking to you. Okay? Amen. But he want to bless you like never before. Amen. Amen. I mean like never before. Like never before. Excuse me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to knock you out. <laughs> but he want to he wanna use you like never before. Amen. Praise I mean, God. It's, there's something in you that's even more. What grade you been? And, you, and, you, and you're getting ready to go to college? Right? Where? And you look for every scholarship that's necessary. And he wants to give you some things that even if you release the things that he is in need of, Father. And God, I ask you right now, God, that the I supply. He said, "I've been supplying your needs for so long yes, that I, I, I'm gonna take care. Of, I'm gonna take care of this, right? I'm gonna take care of this." Watch the miracle. Every scholarship that you apply, right? You can apply to, right? God gonna give you the wisdom because I believe that He wants to show you something. He said, because of the things that He said, it has nothing to do with because of anything else but the obedience that you already did. You might not be getting that. Because you come to church, you come every Sunday. You ain't got no choice. But you you do got a choice. But you don't have a choice because the obedience of what you're doing, God going to bless you abundantly. Amen. Abundantly. Amen. Mark my words, he's going to bless you abundantly. I mean that. He's gonna bless you so that you you're gonna know that every time I got every time something go wrong, you're gonna be trying to get here. Amen. Because if I get here, I know this is where my blessings come from. Amen. 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 It's like, when you go out there, it's like it's like going away from the water and you a fish. But yet you need to you need to get some water in you. So you gotta come back to the church. Well, and I'm well. telling you something, because when you get ready. When you get ready to go out there, this is what's going to happen. This is the water. Somebody going to lead you like this. Right? But when you get to a certain spot, and it's not going to look like this, a little rocky, know to go back to the water. Amen? Amen? Amen. Trust me on this. 
I'm only telling you this because I'm trying to not to avoid some things that could happen. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm telling. I'm, I'm. I'm speaking to you in a prophetic way. That the things that are getting ready to take place inside of you is going to make you even better, preacher. So that you'll be able to do the things that you need to do, preacher. See that you will be able to move like never before, preacher. See that you will be able to speak the word of God and you're going to speak it in such a way that even the smallest individual is going to be able to understand it and they're going to say, what is it about this young preacher that makes it so, my God. That makes me want to just come and listen to what the young preacher has to say. Yes, sir. And maybe they don't see that now because of some of the things that you might say or do. Mm -hmm. But what God does is he turns things around. Yes. See, because what happens is he'll take somebody who looks like a rusty nickel and he'll make you shine. Amen. You see, there was a man named Jacob. They called him a deceiver. See, there was a man named Moses. They called him a murderer. Right? There was, there was a woman named Mary who was a peasant girl. See, now, Jacob became the, the father of nations. Moses led the people out of Egypt. Mary became the mother of Christ. So if he can change those people, he can do something better for you. He said greater things than these than I do. Yes, sir. So I believe right now, you don't even know. You don't see you let's put it this way. You had the drawing power from the moment that I sat there and I was in the vehicle with you and you said, make sure you come back. Mm -hmm. And when I, when you said that, I turned around and looked at you and I didn't just look at him, I went, my spirit said, this man is sitting here speaking to me that I could feel that, that God said, I'm a move, I'm, I'm moving. So when you, I'm gonna put it to you like this and you can tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna take my seat and I'm gonna go. Okay? But when you start talking to people, right, whether they're young or they're older, they don't stop looking at you. They just keep on looking. Hallelujah. They listen to what you have to say. God. Because God Praise is God. giving you that strong spirit. And that's the spirit that they have in every creature. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm done with y'all. I'm up. I'm up. I won't. I won't speak to us. I won't. Yeah, I won't. I won't. There's something. There's, but there's something there, man. Let me, let me pray for you, man. Just personally, I'm going to pray with you, man. Father God, in the mattress and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. God, even the anointing grows. We don't even know that. God, I thank you for. God, I thank you for. That he'll be like that. That light bulb. That lighthouse. Mm. That he'll be like the lighthouse guy. That he will call individuals to him. Father, I ask you that you open up the anointing that you have given. And that it will cover him in every way possible. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. You're going to be great, man. Thank you, Pastor. You're going to be great. Amen. Amen. I'm done, y'all. Amen. Is there anybody else's? Maybe sunshine you? like never before. The things that she has before her, Father God, that you have poured in her plate, 
God, I ask you right now, God, that even though the plate seems like it's full, Father, even though the plate seems like it's full right now, I ask you that you remove what's not needed, Father. Yes, Lord. God, I ask you right now, God, that you give her the substance to do that, Father. And God, whatever you don't remove, Father, God, make her strong enough to be able to overtake what's there. I pray for overtaking, I pray for overcoming in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. And that all the things that are moving in her life, Father God, come into an alignment with you. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. It is because of you we have all the rights and the authority. And Father, it is because of you, Father God. So we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, get closer. Preachers. And so, you know, 
I see when you come to Sarah Rock, come with a, you know, come from something in your heart and something in your hand. Amen. 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 So uh, we thank God for, uh, for you today. Um, I want to give an opportunity uh, for discipleship. Otherwise, you never know if somebody wants to uh, correct some things, Amen. get some things straight up. Make some confessions, whatever you think is right with God, or even give their life to Him. Amen. And so we want to just just one word to come to Jesus. And if you feel that you uh, need to get closer, you know, just come. Amen. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Life. Yeah. When we leave this earth, flesh 
may decay. But our spirit lives on. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for doing this for us, Thank for going God. to the cross. Yes, but next Lord. Sunday, we're going up. Yes. Yes. We're going to have a good time wherever yes. we are. Yes, Bless every each and individual person here and their homes Amen. and who Amen. they interact with yes, on their jobs, even in their cars, homes. Amen. Bless everything. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. May they Lord. represent the work that you about to do in Jesus' name. We pray for you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. 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 Um, while we're getting ready to, to go, let me again thank uh, Pastor Brian. Brian. And I know he's a pastor of his ministry, but he's also a member of Solid Rock. Amen. You know, Amen. I'm claiming. I'm, this is Amen. my claim. Amen. 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 Now, I believe that uh, you can't, the word that was brought this morning is very knowledgeable. Yes, yes. And I very seldom get a chance to say that he was theologically sound. Amen. All right. All right. And homiletically right. All right. All right. correct. Amen. Uh, I went to school two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 He was in I don't get a chance to say that about all people. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't think spell home lady that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apply it. Yes, sir. Amen. But he was sound and doctrinally sound. Amen. Correct. Yeah. And that means much uh, in the word. But I believe that the scripture says he that received a prophet, the name of a prophet, received a prophet's reward. Amen. And even though we cannot pay for the gospel, there's no there's no no price you can put on it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But uh, Paul said, the scripture said, if, if he can share with you spiritual things, then what's problem with us sharing with them? Our carnal things. Right. Amen. said, buzzing out the ox, right. share it out corn. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so uh, we want to uh, take an offering. I want Amen. to take an offering. I'm going to ask you to, uh, I'm going to ask you to do something different. That's what we be used to do. I'm not going to do this better. I'm going to ask Pastor Brian, Brian to come over here. Amen. Stand right over there by that speaker. Amen. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to ask us uh, to uh, whatever in your heart to just take it out and put it in his hand. Amen. Get it off and out. Amen. And come and put it in. Bless the preacher. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. 